if you've got an EPA 10 Detroit diesel powered truck then you've probably got one of these DEF pumps. Now I'm going to show you a couple of quick checks you can do if you think it might be causing problems. The pump is usually mounted to the back of the DEF tank. It has a cover on it that's held on with four bolts. You'll want to pull that off to get it out of your way. So here's the pump uncovered and in this case there's a pretty obvious problem right away. If you see any crystallized DEF building up anywhere on the pump it's either a leak from a line or in this case it's coming from internally in the pump. The pump is probably frozen or something is cracked and DEF is starting to seep out of it. Anywhere you see crystallized DEF like this there's an issue. This is something you'll want to change because there's a chance that DEF and coolant can cross contaminate here. The next thing you can check is the electrical connections. The plug has two pins in it. One of them should have battery voltage with the key on and the other should have between 2.25 volts and 2.5 volts. Anything less than this and you might have a broken or partially broken wire between the ACM and the pump. When checking for continuity across the pump, Detroit recommends no more than 400 ohms. Most of the pumps I've seen are beginning to fail once they get closer to that 400 ohm mark. They typically run a lot lower than that. Another simple thing you can do is to check for coolant leaks at the two coolant lines that enter at the bottom of the pump. You can also replace the DEF filter in the pump. The cover has a black plastic hex head that just threads out with a socket. The pump also has an air bladder built inside of it. When it was installed new it should have been charged with between 40 and 46 psi of air and it should be recharged periodically. Well if you found this helpful you can go ahead and subscribe for more videos like it. If you have any questions or comments just leave them below and I'll try to get back to you and thanks for watching.